Today, at the University of California San Diego Brain Observatory, scientists are shaving hair-fine slices from a frozen and very special brain, seeking to uncover the source of human memory. The, the goal of the lab is to paint a picture of what the brain is like and how, the, how that picture actually is different and makes us, as I said, who we are. It's the brain of an amnesiac researchers will never forget. Henry Mollison, who died last year at 82. As a young man, he suffered severe seizures. In an experimental procedure in 1953, a top brain surgeon removed tissue from either side of Mollison's brain. He lost the seizures and lost his ability to form memories. Neuroscientist Susan Corkin studied him for the next 50 years. We have over 50 years of behavioral data. Now we will be able to link the behavioral data to what we find in his brain. From him, scientists learned memories are formed in that very portion of the brain surgeons removed. Mollison could remember events before surgery, but after, memories vanished within 20 minutes. But he did remember JFK's assassination and retained motor skills like drawing and riding a bike, but he told Corkin he couldn't remember learning them. What do you do to try to remember? Well, that I, I don't know, because I don't remember. The brain slicing procedure is live online. The samples will be digitized and put on the internet for researchers around the world to study. To zoom in to the tiniest neuron, like on Google Earth, and delve into the mind of the man who couldn't remember. He revolutionized the science of memory. Well, the way I figure it is they, what they find out about me helps them to help other people. Leaving an unforgettable legacy for science. Bill Whitaker, CBS News, Los Angeles.